Hi everyone, it's Christina and I have been working on a whole bunch of projects over the last few weeks. So I'm going to show you what they are. The first thing I'm going to show you is a completed pocket letter and it is a Sherry Baldy Design Team pocket letter that I made for February. And these are the printables that I used and I think this one is called I Love Coffee. Super cute. These two girls there sharing a cup of coffee. And then some banners, spoon, cup of coffee, little girl, little my bestie in a cup here. It says, I love coffee. The three cups, happiness is a cup of coffee shared with a friend. And then this pretty one there. So that's what I used for my pocket letter. And this is it right here. For this ribbon on the side here, I used, I got this from Stampin' Up, and we get lots and lots of here um, in this spool, and it's co just cotton ribbon. I glued it on the side, and then I stamped Coffee Chocolate Bling Love, Coffee Chocolate Bing Bling Love, <laughs> and then I cut a strip and glued it down with my hot glue gun, and here for the tag... Um, I used, I lo I've been using this stamp a lot lately by Stampendous. Happiness is a cup of coffee shared with a friend. I love it. So I stamped that on the tag here on the side. And this was the printed pocket here, the one with the spoon on it. So I found a bunch of tiny spoons and forks at the dollar store. So I just glued that on the outside of the pocket wrap some ribbon around it, and then this little quote, um, I have measured out my life with coffee spoons. And on the inside of the pocket, I just have a, a doily in there. This pocket, I just used some stickles on the outside. And this one here, I added some flowers and a butterfly. Sugar and Spice Friendship, Sisters of the Heart. And this one here, just a little tag that says just for you and a butterfly in the corner. This is, um, I just added a whole bunch of sequins in the center pocket. And I just, here's a little foam. I just called to say, surprise! And if I pull that one out, it's like a little, I used ribbon for a, a belly band. And then this little paper clip holds these tiny little, uh, like little tags. And here, copy pocket letter, February 2016. Uh, I stamp, let's do coffee, perfect day. Hello, friend, let's chat. Shine bright, happy days. And I freaking love you. <gasps> and on this pocket, I put some really pretty uh, trim there. And some pearls. I had some hearts on the coffee cups. This is my letter pocket. And that is, there's, oh, I just love this image here. I had a couple, a little bit of bling here. I stamped, you mocha me happy. And a sun and a little sticker cup here. It says giggle more, because we certainly need to giggle more. Um, and then the back is just all the goodies that I put inside. This is a colored printable from Sherry Baldy that I used um, I put it through my laminator and then cut them out. So I stuck a couple in there and there's my letter and some tags. And I don't know, some tea and some other goodies in there. And that's my pocket letter. All right, now I'm gonna show you. I've been doing, I'm in a few like snail mail type swaps. So I think that's what I'm gonna show you next. And so here. I took some of my 4x6 project life cards and used some washi tape to glue, or yeah, to tape two together. Um, and then I did some stamping. I added this big die cut that says hello and a flower. And then when you flip it open, there's a belly band here. And these are my letters that I've tucked in. And then I've just put a whole bunch of stickers on here. This one says sharing secrets. That's what friends are for. And some owl stickers. There's a little cup with a little mouse in there and it says hug. 
So I've got a couple letters. This one says, one, read me first, read me second. And that just tucks in the belly band here. I saw this idea on Pinterest. I like the idea of the belly band. And then I use some more of my smaller Project Life cards. I think these ones are the three and a half by four or something like that. Um, and they flip open this way. So on this one, there's a it was a there's a actual quote on the card. And then here's a little envelope, and I've just stuck, I don't know, little doodads. There's a tag and some washi tape and a few things in there. And then the quote on here, the secrets of life are hidden in the daily routine. And open that up. There are some tags, round circle tags that I made. And that just goes in here with the paper clip. And then here, currently, what I was doing while I was making this, I was watching Linda Rodstad on YouTube. I was reading a cookbook that afternoon. I was listening to Linda Rodstad making a pocket letter, feeling tired, planning to go to bed soon, loving the sunshine, and enjoying walks in the park. And then in here, I've got um, a little envelope, and there is a tea bag inside and a gift card to Starbucks. And then I did a bunch of gluing with some little paper die cuts and some stamping, a coffee stamp. So it's pretty simple, but awesome in the back. And then I'm just gonna stick that in this pretty paper bag. And then I'm gonna put that in this envelope, seal it, and I'm gonna mail it to mail it. I'm not going to say who, but it's going in the mail. <sighs> All right, so the next thing I made, I saw this on Pinterest. So on Pinterest, I saw the picture where they took three of these envelopes and glued them together and used them for like a, I don't know, a folding card or something like that. I forget what they were called. Or envelopes, folding envelopes. So I have a ton of these envelopes and I thought, well, I might as well do the same. So, and I used uh, washi tape to hold it together. So here's the front of it, and I just I just used stuff from my stash. I found this bloom sticker, and this little girl here. It's for the month of February, and she's doing some cleaning. And I think a lot of us start our spring cleaning around February, March. And then uh, a banner made from some gold glitter paper, and it says "For You." And uh oh, I think my you is. I lost part of the U. I'm going to have to redo that. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right. Then you open it up, and you open it up again. So it's really, really simple. So inside this envelope, I got, forget what I got in here. Oh, yeah, some tags. I love making these tags with that happiness. Is a cup of coffee shared with a friend stamp. I love it. And then I just added little things that you could use, um, like reuse if you're making something like this, or if you're, you know, want to put it in your pen pals envelope. So just a bunch of little envelopes is what actually what I stuck in there. And here, enjoy. And then here I have a Starbucks gift card. Take time to enjoy the simple things in life, the snail mail, and that's those stamps there. I love those stamps. And then in here, I made a tag, just a pretty simple tag that I didn't really write on it or anything. I figured that whoever gets this can reuse it. And then here on this side of the envelope is one of those library pockets. And this is where I'm gonna write like a, a little note or a little letter. Um, and then that's it. And on this side, I put, I just went to the dollar store recently and just picked up a whole bunch of these pads, you know, like sticky notes. So I just stuck one on the back and I figure I'm going to do a little bit of uh, writing on this side. And I'm going to put that in an envelope and mail that out. Then the last project I worked on, I have 
a ton of these photo envelopes. You know when you get pictures developed at the photo department and then your pictures end up in here? Um, well, I have one time, I don't know, it was like years ago, I asked the guy there if I could have a bunch and he gave me a stack, like honestly I have this many. And I've always wanted to do something with them, so what I decided to do is I took two envelopes and one envelope I glued down to this flap right here, which I'll do right now. Then, it's nice that they have these score marks here for you already. So then it ends up looking like a little book, right? So then I put pretty pattern paper over it, and I'll quickly do that right now. I have some pattern paper that I cut out. So on this flap here, I'm going to cover that flap. Then I'm going to put pattern paper on this side. And then I have some strips here and I'm going to put some along the sides to make it nice and sturdy. I tape the strips on the outside. I also tape the strips on the inside and I won't finish this one. But, um, and also you put paper on the back. But I will, I'll show you what I did, or the one that I finished. And I used some, lots of pink, lots of pink paper, um, some plain pink on the front, and this Recollections trim, big Friends die cut, and some pearls, doily, and a beautiful flower. And then when you open it up, the inside flap is I made a whole bunch of flowers. I have this flower stamp and a punch. So I just ink sprayed everything and then glued them all down. This says for you. And little sort of, I don't know, I found a bunch of these little leaves at the um, thrift store a long time ago. So I just glued that down. And this is the inside flap. And I've done some layering of doilies and patterned paper. A banner here says smile. A little kitty cat says hello, sweetie. And then March of 2016, you make me smile. This is a Project Life card. And life is a gift. The heart that loves is always young. I also put a, a strip, a, a sticker strip of some butterflies on the inside there. And then these are the two pockets. So in this pocket, I included some letters, numbers, and different words. And some really pretty note cards and envelopes. And in this pocket is a big banner and a die cut. It says, just because. And you are a blessing. Pretty flower and some lace trim and a little birdie down here. And then this pocket here, I have this die cut, or a, a die, it's a bow die. It says enjoy, and a butterfly, laugh often. And then this pocket, um, a little envelope full of uh, little doodads and embellishments. I made this, uh, put a bunch of sequins in there. And then here, I'm going to fill that out. Top five things, probably my top I don't know, I'm not really sure, but something top five anyways. And then here is a little envelope, again, just full of some fun things. And then I'm just gonna close this up, and then that's the back. And I just use patterned paper to make shapes for the house, and for the windows and the door, for the fence, a little wooden chip piece for the birdie, and home is where they love you best. So those little photo, el um, photo, I don't even know what they're called, it's been such a long time. Um, I don't even hardly get pictures developed anymore, but these little photo envelopes you get at the uh, photo department, they come in handy. Uh, once you glue them together and 
put patterned paper all over it. Um, this is really, really a nice thing to put together for a friend. Uh, you know, put a little, few little gifts inside of it, decorate it up, and then mail it out. So that, my friends, are all my projects that I have been working on the last few months. I hope you all enjoyed this video. It's such a fun way to do snail mail, um, whether it's through a pocket letter or I suppose this is what we're calling a flip book right now using your project life books, making a little card, taking envelopes, taping them together, putting little goodies in. Most everything can come from your stash. You really don't have to buy anything and shipping um, envelopes. I mean, it's not a big box, right? So when you're mailing these, um, it doesn't cost uh, an arm and a leg to, to mail some of this stuff. So um, I hope you're all having a great February. I mean, it's over in a couple of days and spring is around the corner. So I hope you're all well, everybody. And thanks so much for watching. Bye. See you next time.